It's Monday today and undoubtedly one of the most rainy days of the entire year so far. Ha! Well, you live in Gothenburg, Peter. What the hell did you expect? That is where I had my first office space and my first real YouTube studio. <sighs> the memories. Why is Emmanuel focused all the time? I'm feeling very tired today. I think it's because we had a really good time, the entire family, yesterday. I woke up at 9.25, had a vlog edited and done at 10.40, and then now. <laughs> Quick work yesterday, but then again, Better than no work yet. I don't know if you, I told you, but I started a corporation a while back and before I had the corporation, I had, was working as a sole proprietor. The difference about those is that there's way more taxes when you're working as a sole proprietor rather than if you're having a corporation. I can do a video where I can explain all this if you want, if you're interested, because I didn't know anything about this before I dove into it. And it's actually kinda, kind of interesting to know if you want to run a business on your own. I was just looking at the performance of the vlog channel and I think it's amazing that we are 10,294. <laughs> How cool is that? Okay, how do you get? Hi. You know the drill? Long car drive. Circle take off. Oi! Ulle! Hey! Hello! Hey! When doing accounting, there's a lot of coffee involved. How is the accounting going? Confusing. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who haven't met my mom, this is my mom. Hi. <laughs> Trying to get all the numbers to match. <laughs> <laughs> that is why now that I started a corporation, I'm letting it, letting it? I'm, I'm letting a professional do it so that everything gets correct from scratch. So you don't have to go back and revisit and look for old receipts and all that stuff. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I've had a business now for over 10 years 
and accounting has never been my strong side. It's something that I've learned the more that I've done it. But I think it's kind of fun now because you can always see like the results and all that. And if you know a little bit about accounting, that's going to be easier for you to know what you can actually make a profit from and what you can deduct and those kind of things. It's interesting, even though I'm very glad that I'm not doing it myself for my corporation because that is... Valentine's Day today, and I'm not gonna stay for long here in the studio. I'm just doing a quick pit stop on the way home because my mom lives approximately two hours away from Gothenburg. And I just wanna say that I'm super grateful that I've had her help with the company for this long. I think the most valuable lesson that I've learned when I've been running my company is that you should always, always put away money for taxes. It doesn't matter if you think it's enough, try to put away a little bit more because if you don't have enough money, it's gonna suck. In my case, it was the import taxes with my um, apparel brand. And I don't know if you saw the hoodie that I was wearing with the logo. That was actually the first apparel that I've ever created with my logo on it. It's kinda cool. I don't sell those anymore, but always pay your taxes. Don't don't make the same mistake as I did. It's not gonna work out in the end. 